I started to have feelings for Zach um, pretty quickly. We uh, had a lot of conversations about things that um, I'd always looked for in a person. What attracted me to Bethany was her heart, just the love she had for people. She was always there. You know, any anytime I had any any shows or concerts, she would show up to hang out and just, you know, spend time with me. So there were a lot of things that I was looking for in a husband that Zach um, carried. I did have a son. Um, when Zach and I started talking about having a relationship, I had him when I was uh, 18 years old. Over the course of um, a couple years of being in and out of court and stuff like that, um, his dad just kind of decided to not want to have to deal with any of the court stuff or any of that anymore. And as far as I know, not wanting to have really responsibility anymore. So he had decided to kind of step out of that role completely. Me and Eli's relationship was was awesome at the start, like almost an instant bond, you know, from the minute like, we met. I totally felt like Zach was supposed to step into the role of being Elijah's dad. Did I feel like I was that person? Um, possibly. We had talked a little bit about, you know, getting married and you know starting a family, but I had, uh, you know, several things that, that I wanted to get done. Zach's plans pretty much were the main thing that were standing in the way of us getting married. When I found out that Zach's mom's cancer had came back, um, I was really frustrated just knowing that he's gonna have to walk down that road of the sickness with his mom again. Um, it was really difficult. When he had found out that it had came back and everything, he came to me and he said, we're told there's no cure for this and everything and I want my mom at my wedding. So it, it was a shock. She was getting worse and worse and worse. For me, my plans, you know, when compared to, to my mom, you know, being with me, you know, they didn't even compare. We want her to be there physically, but more importantly, mentally, we want her to know what's going on. After, after talking over with Bethany, you know, we decided that if we're gonna do this, you know, we need to do it pretty quick. And so we decided to just go ahead and get married. It went from three months to three weeks to three days. Obviously you don't plan ever in your life. <laughs> you don't picture your wedding in a hospital. Going to a hospital to get married was, uh, you, know, you know, sort of bittersweet. Anytime that something was that would come up while we were planning in this two day time period, uh, that looked like it was gonna be bad, God just made it better. Standing at the altar uh, was very tough. Um, knowing that, um, you know, my mom probably doesn't have much longer. Finally receiving one gift and then also receiving that, but knowing that it's very likely that that's gonna get taken away really soon, it was very difficult. I feel like God answered a lot of prayers for Eli during that time. Um, everything that he had been missing in a dad, you know, um, I really feel like he delivered through Zach. It like instantly changed. It was no longer Zach, it was no longer dad, but he just immediately started calling him daddy. And that was huge to me. God has definitely taken me into a whole other level, I mean, super quick, from going to, you know, from a life of, of being single to now married and a kid. Um, the joy, um, you know, of it all has been just so cool. God answered all of my prayers in Zach for a husband and beyond, honestly, what I even thought for myself. God has been shaping me um, you know, for the role that I'm, you know, currently in now, you know, as being a dad, you know, as being married, you know, as being a husband. Stuff doesn't always go how we, you know, think it should go, but we do have the promise that all things work together, you know, for the good of those who love God.